so, like. so busy bone likes to stay fit, right? <laughs> oh man, I had to, I had to nowadays, man. Sure. Nowadays these motherfuckers here, bro. Gotta stay a step ahead of the game. One of the loudest motherfucking states, one of the loudest motherfucking cities, showing support. I don't have newspapers come about here. It's just been all around love, so I want to thank everybody for that. You know, without further ado, let's go ahead and get it popping. Um, as soon as you get the Red Bull up here, I'm a, a monster is just fine. Yes, indeed. All right, and let's go ahead and get it, man. Into this show, you know, I think I'm I'm, I'm excited because it's the first show. Just like my buddy D said, he said, "Man, the first show and the last show are always the most exciting." So you know, I'm I'm just excited to get there. I'm excited. I've seen a couple of people with some bone shirts on, with some busy do rags and stuff, and um, that just kind of gets you into the mood, you know. Just get you ready to get in there, have some fun, kick some ass, you know, uh, let the people enjoy themselves, and you know, part on a good note. Yeah, this is the first stop to begin a um to begin our road trip, you know. And from here, where are you going? Uh, Ohio, um, uh, uh, Detroit, Chicago. Um, two shows in Michigan, actually. A uh, couple of shows in Florida, in Kansas. A couple of shows in that area. Then uh, mountains, Colorado, and a few different places over there in L.A. A few shows over there and. Um, I actually, my last show is going to be in Delaware, all the way on the East Coast. Cool. I'm gonna give them the golden oldies, you know, some of the new stuff, a lot of the stuff uh, people can remember, some of the DMX, um, definitely Pac and Big and Easy E and Crossroads with the rest of the family, Weed Song, and a few others, you know, just you know, just enough for them to really, you know, just have a great time, different subjects, things that people can relate to. Give them a lot of talent, you know, let them, you know, let them understand that we, you know, we like to say every word and so on and so forth. It's, it's just really a, it's going to be a really great show. And, the, and my, the band over here that I'm coming here with is phenomenal as well. So you got to get in there. They're um, originally from here, from Wisconsin. So um, this is just going to be a great show, you know. Yeah. This one is coming up. Oh, no. Look at that. Your body shake, but it's too late to make you trip out to say, see, baby, this be all day. Don't tell me you're crazy. But I still make them hot. But the reason this week came in over the deal is so cheap. And the least you keep the low peak. See, tell me your body is so sweet. But I'm with my cruise with this loop. The fool that freaking trick and the fool that is getting gay. Cause the fool that trick is hot. Chain, chain, chain. And the least is attacking me. Actually, I'm gonna bring my sister back. Yeah, 
Well, the group is uh, doing their own thing right now. You know, I think that they're, I think they're just trying to regroup. You know, uh, get their minds right and things of that nature. I, I really wouldn't. I don't know the entire, the, the entire setup. Please make yourself comfortable, bro, Rose. I don't know the entire setup uh, of where they're at with everything that they're doing, but I know they tour every now and then. Ever since that last record, you know, the last record was just not well organized, and it was no extra oomph to it. You know what I mean? They came up off of winning an American Music Award for Strength and Loyalty. And I felt as though with Flesh coming out and um, with me participating on the record, <laughs> that it should have been a major impact. But it just turned out not to be, man. It turned out to be something stupid. <laughs> same place I stood in 98. You know, if we're going to do a record together, I deal with the companies by myself. No one talks business for me. And that way we can be friends when we get in there because everybody's money is what everybody has spoken about. Yeah, I mean, it's one thing to, to sign a, a deal and uh, supposed to get a million dollars and only get 10. It's another thing to sign a deal and only get 10 for it. You know what I mean? Because then it's like you make your own future. You can't be pissed off about what you negotiate for yourself. You have the right to, no one's taking from you. You're either shortchanging yourself or you made a great arrangement. So that's the difference. And then you, how are you gonna get pissed at anybody? That's just how I look at it. Very cool. <laughs> what I do solo and what I've done with the group is just more me than anything you know what I mean and a lot of times I say I don't understand what you're talking about and you know what I mean and that's what I ran into a lot before what the hell are you talking about well you know my flow isn't idiotic 
You know what I mean? It's gangster. You know, it's a lot of good gutter aspects to it. We're going to pull out some pistols, etc. But it's some depth and some meaning behind it. The kind of depth and the meaning is when you look at a picture and you see something different every time you look at it. You know what I mean? It is just completely different, you know, from being with a group and just sticking to one subject. That gets boring. You know what I mean? To me. I like to touch upon a lot of different things, but make sure it's incongruent with what the main uh, uh, fact of the, 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 the song is about. You know what I mean? So that's the difference. You know, I, I try to take it a step further. I don't have to be confined to what just the group is talking about. I can go ahead and go forward with it. You know, I done put out 20 records, man. You know, by myself. In the course of about, what is 11, uh, four. In the course of about seven years, I done put out about 20 records, man. You know? And that's what it's all about. Keeping music out there, keeping it hot. Keeping people having something to listen to. As long as it's business on the table, you know, as long as we're going to take care of business and hopefully... See, what I think a lot of these people don't understand is it ain't just what you give an artist. You got to market and you got to promote. You're playing with the big boys. You know, a lot of these companies don't understand the, the intricacies of what you got to do behind the record. You know, you give an artist $100,000, cool. But you can't spend 10000 to promote it. You got, you got to two, three hundred thousand at minimum in order to truly promote a record and get the Lil Wayne numbers and get the Drake numbers, the Eminem numbers, the Justin Bieber's, and so on and so forth. You have to, or you, you're going to lose. You know? It's, it's, it's like spend ten thousand, not make any money, spend two hundred, three hundred thousand, make sixteen, seventeen million. What's smarter, what, what's the smartest thing to do? <laughs>